everybody, it's Jared and welcome to the Digital Weather Desk app. Today we're talking customizable alerts and it's a very important feature in our app. This is the home screen. You're gonna click the alerts on the bottom left-hand side and it's gonna bring up your alert screen for me, it's blank. And if you would like to add locations, you're gonna click the dots on the top right-hand side. It's gonna bring up a menu with one choice, locations. From there, you can add up to 16 different locations by city, state, name, address, zip code, that's important to you. And it's also important to note those locations don't have to be here in the Arklamis. They can be anywhere in the country that you would like to receive severe weather alerts for. Today, we're gonna hit add location and I'm just going to add a simple zip code, 71291 for West Monroe. If you have multiple locations, I suggest adding names, your church, your office, and designating each location so you can tell which alerts are being sent to which locations. And so that can get confusing if you have a lot of different locations enabled. From there, we move down to the safety net alerts. By default, every alert is enabled. You can disable them all or you can enable them all. And again, by default, they are all turned on. The next option is the silent push disabled. And if you were to enable this, you will not receive any alerts from this app for the designated time here, which is 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, obviously, if you don't want to receive alerts in the middle of the night, it would be important to have that turned on. But it's also important to remember you would not receive any alert for tornado watches, warnings, severe thunderstorm watches and warnings during the night if this is enabled. So what I suggest is disabling that and then scrolling through all of the different alerts and unchecking the ones that you don't want to receive. Um, most of these you're never ever going to see. I don't recall ever receiving a snow squall warning in the Arklamis. But as you scroll farther down, you see our flood watches and flood warnings, tornado watches and tornado warnings. Obviously, I would leave those turned on. There are the system generated messages, messages from trained personnel. That's me. I'm trained personnel. You can turn those on and off. And also the proximity alerts. If you don't want to know every time rain is approaching your location, you can toggle that on and off. And by the way, if you have questions about what an alert means, you can just click on that and it will give you a brief description as to what each alert is. Uh, scrolling farther down, I also suggest for a lot of folks that they look at the excessive heat watches warnings and the heat advisory alerts. A lot of those are issued in the middle of the night or in the wee hours of the early morning, sometimes by our National Weather Service offices, and sometimes that can wake folks up and make them rather cranky. So again, consider maybe disabling those if you don't want to receive those in the middle of the night. That's how to customize alerts with the Digital Weather Desk app, and if you have any questions, you can email appsupport at digitalweatherdesk.com.